Hello there, my name is Lou and I've decided to do something fun in my life uh, for the, I guess, the first time when it comes to my career choices. Uh, being in the corporate world, working for other people, then starting my own company had its own peaks and still has. It's a great way to make money. But I always feel that there is another reason why, why we're here. We got to do something. And I'm not having fun as I think I could be having. And, and I just woke up after, you know, a few days of thinking, testing, and decided to do this. And, 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 and this thing that I decided to do is something I've, I've, I've been thinking about for years. And it's been drawing me back to, to this one particular thing that I love doing, but never tried it. Never tried it because, uh, because of life. You know, life got in the way. And that one thing is music. I want to do something to do with music. Now, the last time I played a keyboard or did anything with music besides listening to it was, I don't know, 20 years ago. All I remember is me having a keyboard, not even mine, couldn't afford one, borrowed my friend's keyboard, returned it six months later. <laughs> I'm sure she was happy. Uh, did some music, but every day there was that passion. Every day from school, I got home, created music. I called it music. It was good. My friends actually liked it, but back then there was no MP3s, there was no videos. Back then, it was still the old way of uh, CDs and uh, I don't know record labels. So really, anybody that played music, uh, my dad would call him I don't know wedding wedding player. You know these people that would play at weddings and uh, since then that thought stuck in my head and I'm like you know I'm not gonna be a wedding player so I put the keyboard aside and went to business school and uh, did everything a person young person is supposed to do go to school get a job eventually I really quickly realized that my life well one thing you can really get rich by working for somebody else and I didn't understand the whole concept of going to work eight to five. I mean, it has its points. Uh, you find everybody at work during that time so you can chat with them. But, you know, things got done quicker than eight to five and I didn't see the point. So eventually I started my own company and uh, really successful. One thing, one talent I have, I think, is when I touch something, I, I, I make it happen. And, uh, and having a business, I was really custom, I still am custom oriented. Uh, I still believe uh, they come first. Now, they're not always right, but they come first. And I do everything for them. And in and, and those terms, we're very successful at what we do. Uh, and we're really happy. And I'm happy. But I'm not having fun. And that is why I decided to put myself through a challenge challenge to get back to what I think I might be good at because I recall having so much fun doing it back in the days that is uh, music I played keyboards I tried guitar I'm horrible with other instruments uh, no singing so basically very limited music uh, abilities you would say you know you got these guys that can play any instrument uh, very successful people out there and very successful people out there, very talented people out there not making it. It is a little scary, but you know what? It is one thing I want to try. And I'm not going to go 10 years again and look back at my life and say, uh, this is one thing that's been on my mind, but I haven't tried it. And uh, I wish I knew whether I could have made it in this field or how much fun would I have had had, whatever. I know what, it's, it's time to, to put the bullshit aside and, and do something I want to do. And my challenge is really take myself from absolutely zero, which I mean, I know something, but yeah, it's zero when, when you look at the professionals, and buy the right equipment, buy some equipment, and, and really challenge is not to become the, uh, the, the best musician, the best piano player, the best whatever. It is really 
take my ideas, my, my, my songwriting ideas, whatever, just something in the music business and, and, and have fun with it, with it. And, and do this in a short period of time is important because I, I really don't feel like spending a whole year on learning a software on, uh, I don't know, learning the music theory. And, and these are all important things I keep reading on, on, on the internet because I, before I recorded this video, I went online and tried to see what the hell am I getting myself into. And, and Jesus crackers, there's so much information about music and, and what to do and where to start. And, you know, it's like a thousand people that give you different advice. And uh, just picking up the equipment takes days of reading forums and blogs and and you get into all these details about each mic and I don't even understand that stuff so I need something that will work and I need this quick you know what we can't spend a year figuring out the software and the hardware I need a song it's April right now right it's April 2013 I need my, my goal my challenge is to have a song out not just a song out, I can knock that out, you know, hopefully soon, but but have a song played in clubs, have a song played in, uh, by, by DJs, local DJs, uh, because it's good, not because I ask them to do it, but because I ask them to look at it, and they say, you know what, this is good, our audience is going to like it, and I want to document all that, not just, hey, here I am now, a dumbass, and then here, here's me playing in the club. I want you guys to be part of this. And, and the reason for, for that is because I want to feel that I have somebody with me. I can't be the only person in the world feeling this way. And this is why I, I want you guys to give me feedback and follow me. And and, 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 and it feels like if I, if I put it out there, I got to do it daily. I got time. I saved up some money in terms of buying the equipment. I'm not going to be one of those guys trying to do shit for free. And be like, okay, where can I get this free? No, no, free, free, free usually is shit. Now, there's a lot of free good stuff, but it comes with strings attached. And, and usually it's time and you can't do shit right. You know what? Got to buy the minimum equipment. Not spending a lot of money. Two grand maybe, three grand. Got to buy the minimum equipment. The rest is work. The rest is work and time, which I'm willing to put in daily. I thank God don't have to go to work every day. Uh, so I have the time. I, I, I'll put in the time every day to learn the, uh, the ropes, whatever it takes from the music production to hopefully marketing it. I mean, I do have experience in marketing, nothing about music marketing though. And I did again, watch a couple videos last night on music production and marketing. And it's way different than, well, it's marketing, but it's not the same as marketing a physical good or, or a product. But good news is, so what? You know, I got two months. It's April, so May, June, July. July, August, summer, sun is here. I want to get it out there. I want to get, I'm going to put a song out there, a couple of songs that my, my DJs around here, friends or not friends, will say, this is cool. We're going to play this. I want to be there for it. I want to record that. I want to have a camera. I'm going to follow myself see the people's reaction next step will be to get you know what the whole thing is to get a fan base a local base whatever i don't know what i'm talking about but get people follow you so so i can call a radio station and, and say listen you know what i don't know i'm gonna bribe them somehow can you play this can you can you can you get this on the air and uh i'll find out by then how you actually properly ask for these things i have no idea i'm, I'm just thinking i'm gonna call up somebody at a radio station and say, hey, listen, I got this fan base here and I'm producing local songs and hey, you know, here, give me a try. And uh, I'm sure that's going to be absolutely bullshit by the time I get to that point. But it's so far, it sounds reasonable to me. <laughs> so that's the plan. And, and of course, uh, later on, I'm going to do a music video. And <laughs> I'm laughing because I have absolutely no idea where to start. Uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking a couple cameras, maybe some friends that will, you know, choreograph this and then you know the thing is to keep it on the budget you know i i that that is one thing that we need to do here because i'm not going to spend you know twenty thirty thousand dollars producing things just for fun you know i want to have fun in life but you know i don't want to be spending money 
or too much money on having that much fun. I mean, after all, bills do come in, got to pay them. Uh, so, so I'm going to try to create a system for myself and maybe somebody else that can follow it where you take yourself, uh, a talented person, uh, and follow my steps and avoid my mistakes and get get creative and and it's really about having fun I, and as you can see I never mentioned anything about getting paid for these songs and I'm sure that's an important part for a lot of you guys out there that want to be professional and make it in the music business you 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 want to get paid for that music and your production skills I don't know I don't have any so so hard to say yeah I'm gonna make uh, I don't know hundred grand a year producing music well you know not <laughs> so it, it's more of can I even do this and I can't do it with your help and that this is why I'm recording this because if I if I just put it on paper and if I just start doing it I am not gonna feel that anybody cares you know and what's the point of making any music at all if nobody cares nobody follows you and even if there's 10 people that's gonna be like yeah this is awesome good <laughs> Uh, that's gonna make my day and that that's what I'm gonna try to do is have fun in life so five years from now I'll look back and say this this was a turning point and I'm look at me who I am or you know this was awesome fun I'll make it fun and even even if I don't become the next top DJ I don't even know what DJing means anymore because when you look at these videos on YouTube I don't know, man. So much sounds good. I still don't understand what DJing is. And I, I, all I know is I gotta make a song, <laughs> put it in a nice format, whatever makes it, and and hopefully give it to a good DJ that's gonna know how to play. That's all I know about DJing. Back in the days, DJs were people with two CD players and a little button fader thing that would fade in one CD to another and uh, my idea of DJs is still stuck in the head uh, so yes uh, I'm being ignorant and uh, apologize to all the DJs out there that that hey, my friends are DJs and they're, they're gonna kill me and uh, they're gonna be like yeah this 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 dumbass mofo is actually making videos on, on music and has absolutely no idea what he's talking about but good doesn't matter there's more of us there's more people out there that want to get into this that want to have fun with it we're not doing it to be the coolest guy on the block I'm not doing it to be the coolest guy on the block I'm not doing it to compete with Jay-Z and uh, well, whoever else I'm doing it because I have a feeling that I can do it and I have a feeling that that I want to have fun in life and this is something I think I'm good at now if you're good at photography you know do that if you're good at swimming take up swimming I think and I feel that this is it for me and that's why I'm doing it not because music industry is cool and everybody should get into it now I have a feeling I think I can do something in it and this is just a documentation of my crazy idea to put my life on hold because you know everything else is gonna be put on hold until I see results and on hold I mean everything I mean my business uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna prioritize this this endeavor I'm gonna try to wake up every morning and have fun and uh, with this and and every day do something that's gonna progress me in the right direction and so I'm gonna spend time effort I'm gonna learn and you're gonna be there with me I'm gonna pick up stuff on websites and this is gonna be cool because I am not gonna jump into things like like a lot of uh, people out there trying to teach you music they start talking about envelopes and freaking BPMs and, and things that you know you just you heard somewhere but you don't know what the hell they're talking about and and we're gonna we're gonna keep it simple my idea is keep them things simple and, and and productive that means we're not gonna I'm not gonna spend time you know weeks and days researching equipment and software you know we're gonna go with the most popular we're gonna go with shit that works for others we're gonna make it work for us and same with uh, I don't know tweaking things if, if I can't figure it out you know what we're gonna hire somebody on the side here and ask him to figure it out because we don't have time for that we're productive people we want shit done now I want to get done shit now I, I want this thing in summer I want to be on the radio I 
shit, now I'm talking, I want it on TV, I want to be interviewed on TV, and and I want to have a fan base from all, all, all around the world, and I want to have fun with it. So stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to start figuring this whole thing out, and you'll be right there with me. Later.